Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Dynea 4.64 with MATLAB R2021A on a Windows system. So we will first install MATLAB, then we will install Dynea, then I will show you how to add the path of Dynea to MATLAB and also how to test whether your installation works correctly. There are timestamps in the description of the video below, so please feel free to skip ahead. If you find this video useful or if you spot any mistakes, please let me know so I can update the description of the video. Before we start, check out my blog on more stuff on DSG models and Dynair. Okay, let's go. Okay, now let's install MATLAB first. That is, you go to MathWorks homepage, you log in into your account, and then you either already have a license or you buy one or you uh, ask for a trial version of MATLAB. Either way, there will be this button to download MATLAB. And I want to download for Windows. And this will take a couple of minutes. Okay, then open it. All right. I allow access. Then you have to log in with your credentials. Accept the license agreement. Check the license you want to use. I usually keep the default destination folder. And now for Dynair, it is actually sufficient if you just install MATLAB. If you have access to the optimization toolbox, that would be also a good toolbox to use with Dynair. The statistics toolbox as well. And the control system toolbox. and also the global optimization toolbox. But again, if you don't have access to the toolboxes, this is not really an important issue because all you need is just MATLAB here. I'm adding a shortcut to my desktop and I want to help MathWorks to improve the software. And there you go. Now this might take a little while Okay, this took about 10 minutes. Now once the installation completed, close. Let's open MATLAB, see whether this worked. Okay, sometimes you have to enter your license again. Okay, now let's install Dynair. For this we go to Dynair's homepage, click on simply download for Windows, the latest version. Okay, open the file. Yes. Click Next. If you want to, you can also install Dynair++, which is a standalone executable. Uh, but for our purposes, we don't really need to. Okay. Now, here's a bit the tricky part. If you have access then I would recommend that you keep the destination folder to this folder. If you don't have access, if you don't have admin access, then you might want to put this somewhere in your, maybe your documents folder. But be careful that this is not on a network drive or a, in a Dropbox or an iCloud drive or some other cloud storage drive. Okay, so uh, this, these files have to be on the local hard disk. The files itself don't require any admin access, so you could, once it is, it's installed, you can move around the folder as you wish. Okay. Now let's go back to MATLAB and let's have a look at where we installed this. Okay, so I'm going to C, Dynair 4.64, and here are the files needed to run um, Dynair. 
This folder, MATLAB, is a very special folder because we have to add this folder to the path of MATLAB. And you can do so either with the graphical user interface or with a command, and I would heavily recommend that you do it with a MATLAB command because then you won't get weird errors. Now let's create a folder where we will store our work. Okay, so maybe in C Dynair, new folder, let's call this work. And in this folder, I will put all my mode files. Again, very importantly, this has to be a folder on your local drive, not on a cloud storage drive or, or a network drive. Okay. And let me go into the examples here and let me copy this for this one here, copy this example one into my work folder, paste. Now I'm adding the path, very importantly, it has to be the MATLAB folder and do not include all subfolders, but just the MATLAB folder. And now if I run Dynair, it should give me, this is Dynair version 4.64. And if I'm running example one, this should go through without any error. Maybe one little thing, let's go through the preferences. Okay, um, what I like to do is add Dynair's MOD extension to the, rec uh, to the file extensions for the MATLAB editor such that I get code highlighting. Okay, click apply. Okay. Because if you have code highlighting enabled, then if you open this mode file, this will actually look a bit nicer. And that's it. You're all set to work with Dynair in MATLAB. Okay, that's it. Please leave your comments below. I will update the description of the video to correct any mistakes I make. Have a good one.